Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Agent Psycho, and um, this is early Sunday morning, and I've decided to do the uh, death episode for the new map on Blood Bazaar. Uh, last time I did a map review on Oil Rig, and um, I was meaning to go around to doing the in depth uh, episode on uh, sniper rifles, but um, because uh, in light of the newest patch, um, you know, this map, New Bazaar, has come out, so I've decided to do an in-depth review on it, because because maybe there are still some of you guys who are out there who, you know, haven't had the chance to play Comet Arms yet, and want to know the ins and outs of this new map. So, I've got my client mate, Asian Karma, on the uh, other side there. We're pretty much in an Elim game, so it's, this game really has no chance of ending unless I verse crash, which I hope that doesn't happen. In any case, um, so here I'm on Alpha Spawn. Um, this map, uh, first of all, a brief overview of the map. This map, um, uh, this map, Blood Bazaar, is very, very linear. Um, each side of the map, even though they look different, essentially they're the same layout. So hopefully you, you guys will see what I mean by that when we actually um, go around. Asian Karma, can you stop gating my way, please? Yeah, no, don't just intentionally just come up to my face, you faggot. Sorry, but... Tch. Scars from last game, or f uh, from last end of episode. Yeah, and try not to just ruin the video by randomly firing off shots, otherwise I'm gonna ha just have someone else come in here for you. Yeah, don't be a dick. Anyways, excuse my excuse me for my uh my harsh language already like barely a minute into the game because it's already it's last time I tried doing a map review I made the mistake of inviting one too many people and thus random shenanigans happened and as in don't make any noise please like what the hell do you not understand about that unless he can't hear me over Vivas which I'm pretty sure he sure he can. Um, so anyways, we're spawning here on Alpha side. Uh, I, like I said before, um, the maps are exactly linear, and um, so this will basically cut my work in half, so I don't have to, you know, explain uh, different things like Oil Rig. The Oil Rig is not a linear map at all, so um, I had to talk about a lot of things there, but Blood Bazaar, on the other hand, is pretty linear. So anyways, this is a spawn, and um, we're on Alpha side here. Both spawns will have, on the left side here, um, these boxes. These boxes, you can jump on them, um, you can camp on them, because if you camp all the way back here, if you've got a very accurate sniper rifle, you have a clear vantage point on the people who snipe from the uh, from the uh, the meridian. I like to call the uh, middle side, the middle section of the map called uh, the meridian, and um, because, you know, it's the middle of the map. And um, well, I'll explain a little bit there, but if you guys see, those are windows, and um, people from the enemy side uh, will sometimes camp on those windows to snipe people on the front yard corridor and um, or the courtyard rather so frequently you'll find people camping here like all they'll ever do is just crouch down on these boxes or maybe hop onto the campus itself and then crouch down and then just stare at the uh, window there and you know you'll you'll find some people back here occasionally so let's actually hop onto this canvas there are actually multiple levels to I should say levels, but uh, there are multiple ways that you can actually traverse this map. Uh, because they are very linear, though, uh, there's not much to um, to traverse. As you can see, these canvases are able to be uh, traversed. You can hop on them, you can come back, um, you can come around here, you can do whatever you want. Uh, you can also hop on there if you got enough speed gear to, uh, that you can do so. As you can see, you can jump on here, you can jump on here, you can do anyone, you can just do anywhere you want. And uh, you can also jump out here and jump back here. And uh, before we move on to the, uh, the uh, corridor, you can also jump. Oh, I made a mistake. You can also um, jump over here. Can you jump back here? I don't think so, uh, because of this ladder here. I don't think you can. Um, you can. I don't think you can actually hop on that thing either. Hold on. Uh, yeah, you can. Oh, you can't even. You can't even step on those. You can only only. Uh, it's only solid to uh, bullet damage. But anyways, you can actually jump on here. Uh, get behind these AC unit things, and um, you can you can. I don't know what you do up here. Maybe like you know, watch over the uh, courtyard in case uh, in case uh, to defend against rushers. Uh, because rushers typically, when you rush on this map, you have multiple points of entry into the courtyards. And uh, maybe if you camp up here, you have a you basically have a clear view of the uh, courtyard, so you know everything what's going on uh, at least from your angle. So, like, say if someone's gonna rush out here or maybe over there from from the right side, then you can, you can immediately spot them and shoot them, and most likely they won't come up, they won't look up here to uh, see you, because I mean, who the hell, who the hell would sit around here anyway? Anyway, so you can actually jump uh, jump off. You can, I don't think you can actually reach it from here. Yeah, you can't. Doing a map review. So, um, where where are you, Asian Karma? 
So another thing I want to demonstrate is um, I've uh, hold on, let me make some noise. I've actually, I've actually um, been wondering if the canvas is actually bulletproof. Like for definitely, the wood is bulletproof. I've already tested that out, and uh, wood in this game is always able to be, um, is able to be, uh, is always bullet penetrable. Uh, Agent Karma, can you stand on this side of the uh, wood, please? Like right here. That's fine too. So as you can see from the hit markers, you can see that the wood is able to be shot through. So um, hold on. Can you get on top of the canvas somehow? Like on the canvas? Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't have V-Box. Well, then you should be able to hear me. Uh, get on the canvas. So we're going to be testing out whether or not the cam you can actually shoot through the canvas, and you actually can. So that proves that um, you can uh, the canvas are bullet penetrable, but just like wood, you kind of need to have your point uh, aim dead on. Either that, or you're going to have to uh, you're going to have to depend on your luck a little bit uh, in order to shoot them. So as you can clearly see, wood is penetra bullet penetrable, and also this canvas is pen bullet, bullet penetrable. So if you see like you know like a camper uh, sitting up on this canvas, you can actually what you can do is actually just go up uh, underneath him and just spray through the canvas, and that's pretty much all you need to do. So, uh, after, now that we've got the uh, spawns out of the way, let's discuss uh, what you see on this corridor here. So, as you can see, clearly this is a long pathway corridor. That is why you sometimes see snipers uh, camp over here to look down that window to see if there was anyone in that window. Because anyone in that window, they have an easy uh, easy shot down here uh, as you're walking down. Not really so. It's not really pr uh, pronounced here because on this side... Um, You've got the canvas as you're walking down, so snipers can't really see you. But nonetheless, if if they if you're walking the wrong way, like say you're walking on this side, uh, snipers can easily see you. If you if once you come on here, then the snipers can start seeing you, and then they can shoot you. Um, but I suppose that's why this inner room is here. There is there is another inner room on the other side as well. You can hop in here if you see a sniper, and you can react immediately. Just hop in here, uh, dodge the sniper fire. You can kind of zigzag your way out of there if you want. Also, there are these uh, rows of boxes that also provide some temporary cover if you're if you see anyone uh, around here or up in the windows um, who are trying to shoot at you. You can just hop behind these boxes, pop back out, hop behind these boxes again, and then pop back out and do, do, do that stuff yeah so um moving on to uh this side as you can see this is not really special you just got a single room um the same goes like i said this map is extremely linear so basically everything that you see here is basically like copy pa copy pasta onto the onto bravo side so now we're in the main courtyard um and you can see this is a very bright map, and um, I think this is an Istanbul, if I'm not mistaken. Um, there's a glitch where uh, once, if you load into this map, you'll see like some game code for this map. It's actually supposed to say Istanbul, and um, as you can see, it's all cultural festival and whatever. And um, unfortunately, you can't actually shoot the plates, which makes absolutely no fucking sense at all. And um, you can uh, you can kind of hop on this thing. It's not like you ever want to, because here's the thing. Lots of, lots of snipers like to camp behind it for with good reason because if you crouch down like like this like this no this no this no, this this I don't know but in any case you can actually snipe you can actually camp behind here and snipe uh, from here if you step on if you hop on these boards and look over this wood this wood will give you uh, temporary cover but do keep in mind that should be you can still shoot through it. Um, though, because this map is, is linear, the same thing applies on the other side, so you may see uh, snipers on the other side camping like this as well. Um, so that's one thing you need to worry about when you hop on here. Otherwise, you pretty much have a clear view down this middle corridor here, and you can see if people are trying to po poke their heads out, see what's going, going on. And um, other than that, 
and you can actually jump over these things like that do keep in mind though as you guys can probably see this map has lots and lots of corners um that's why even in your own spawn the, you need to check your corners the most dangerous corners you need to check are i'd say right here right outside your spawn because it once if you're running out of your spawn and you're just walking past it you won't see this guy if there's an enemy camping here you just run past you won't see him uh, maybe right here, but I haven't seen many people camp here before. I guess it's just too open. Um, let's see. I've seen... Oh, this is definitely one. Either here or here. You you have to watch these corners. Either here or here. On Bravo side, I don't, I don't think there's an indent right here. Uh, on Bravo side, but there's still a camping spot, a camping corner right here. So... Watch out for those corners. Uh, make sure once you're, if you're running out here, make sure to look on your right side because there may be snipers waiting for people to pass by and about to shoot you uh, when you come by. So make sure you uh, watch out for your right flank. Um, this is I've seen people camp here before because uh, if you're not watching your corners, obviously you're just running out here. You're not gonna see that guy over there. And um, yeah, basically this map has a lot and lots and lots of corners, and uh, you need to check your corners. If you want a ma good map to train yourself in watching your corners, or, you know, train yourself, yeah, basically, I just said that, uh, then, obviously, um, this map is a very good place to do so, because there's fucking corners everywhere. So, yeah, that's that. I think that's about it uh, for this map. Do keep in mind, though, that even though Blood Bazaar is technically a uh, very large, uh, like a technically a medium-sized map, it plays out like a it plays out like a very close quarters map because literally this is your entire spawn. You can think of this entire side as your spawn. Or actually, te technically speaking, that's your spawn, obviously, uh, inside that uh, shack over there. Or I should say shack that building. But once you step out here, it's all fair game. Um. I mean, technically speaking, this is your half of the map, so people feel secure in he in this area. But oftentimes, th that's just a salt. Uh, that's just a false sense of security because oh, th it, like this map is clearly divided. So it's kind of like oh, this is my side, this is your side, and we'll just stay in our sides and snipe each other to death. Um, but that's not the case because clearly, people like me who rush all the time, um, you know, will constantly piss people off by rushing into these spawns these signs that people keep, keep thinking oh we must be safe here and then we just come in and just spray people down anyways so uh, like I mentioned uh, <laughs> moral of the story Blood Bazaar is um, a uh, middle sized map but it plays out like a CQC map kind of like uh, kind of like is there another map that I can compare it to I, I don't want to say Jung Fleet because Jung Fleet is just a, is strictly a close quarters map but um, it just plays out like one. Anyways, so, uh, I just realized that you can actually look through these boxes, so I suppose if someone's camping here, Asian Karma, where are you? Here, here, stand right here. Yeah, yeah, stay there. So you can actually see people through the cracks if someone is uh, backed up against it. Okay, uh, Asian Karma, can you come around here and see if you can stand right there? Stand right there. So you can actually see people through the cracks. So that's obviously a really good, idea, a really good uh, thing to do. If you're running out here, you want to know if uh, there's someone uh, camp behind those boxes. You can kind of inch your way over there, see if they're poking their uh, stuff out or something like that. And um, yeah, uh, let's see here. Oops. Whoops. Okay, so the boxes are not able to be shot through. Um, I was under the, I was, I had a few kind of instances where uh, the boxes might actually uh, let bullets pass through, but they seem to be normal objects or obstacles, and um, you can't shoot through them. I suppose not. I mean, maybe. Hold on. Yeah, they're not boxes. They're just obstacles. Okay, so problem solved. The, you can't shoot the boxes. They're not like wood. Anyways, so moving along here, we will come across the middle middle here. This is probably the most dangerous area to traverse just because of the fact that it's like a no man's land. It's not really a no man's land, but it, it, it kind of it's supposed to serve as one. It's the divider between 
this have the map Bravo side, and this have the map on Alpha side. And um, because corners, uh, typically speaking, if you're passing, if you want to try, uh, if you want to try to run through, you need to watch out for people who, who might be camping here. I mean, it's not the best idea to camp here to begin with, because if, you, like, for example, people who are standing watch over there or over here, they can see you. But if you're not careful and you just, you know, run out here and then just run straight past, you won't be able to see them. So this is the middle divider, and uh, let's head up to the. Uh, the meridian here so as you can notice this is a uh like right here, this is a very steep height right here. These are very steep stairs that you need to uh, you need to uh you need to climb up naturally this is going to give uh you can give you, this this will give the defenders or people who are kind of on top of the stairs a natural advantage because they can shoot down on you easily whereas you need to kind of look up and you know it's it's just natural it's more natural to be shooting down than it is to be shooting up in your conversation you can actually get on the tree but whatever i don't really have time for that now who the hell would want to be camping a tree anyway you may want to watch out for people who are camping right here i mean you might have a chance that you might you, you'll see them but it might be too late to uh to react in time because they'll just be watching you there and then once you see them they'll spray them down and you have no chance basically so once you come up here, do keep in mind that people will plant mines like fucking everywhere, especially on these stairs, because these stairs are like the stairs on oil rig, uh, where you even if they plant it right here, then you can't jump over it. It's going to detonate no matter what, unless you kind of sidestep around it. Fortunately, though, these staircases are pretty wide, unlike those in uh, Alpha Spawn uh, oil rigs, so you can actually kind of kind of zigzag your way through if you need to. Um, another corner that you need to watch out for is this one right here, because this one, you can't see them. You just walk straight past, you can't see them at all. So that's obviously very dangerous. Um, though it, this corner especially, um, it will get people every time. Like I sometimes use this, and it, I just wa I watch the people just pass by and just spray them down. It's kind of sad actually, but whatever. What works works. So if you need to use this corner for whatever reason, then go ahead and do so. So once we come up to the uh, meridian here, uh, as you can see, this is a very long corridor. So this is another one of those moments, uh, this is one of those ranges where sniper rifles are actually very effective. As you can see here, it's just a natural sniper point. And um, yeah, this, these uh, boxes are able to be broken. As you can see, they're not very strong though. So if you need to take cover behind these, then take cover behind just for a moment and then get out of the way because the box will hold you for long. And uh, even if you crouch behind here, you can still see their heads. So yeah, my head is obviously able to be seen. So this is not a very good camping spot. Just camp, camp if you really need to. Like if you need to take some immediate cover uh, to throw off your enemy's aim. Like you see them down there, they t you start taking fire and they just crash down here. Like that. And then just keep moving on. And um, yeah, this corridor also has, pff, yeah, big surprise, corners. 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 Lots of them everywhere <laughs> like every step of the way the meridian y you need to watch out for possible and potential uh, corner campers you need to watch every single corner you need to watch every single thing it's kind of tedious but you need to do it because it's going to save your life sometime sometime uh, you can actually kind of camp through here, but if they, if your enemies do have a good angle on you they can still shoot you uh, shoot you from the other side um, I don't know what you want to be doing up here but whatever whatever floats your boat and um yeah anyways so from alpha spawn this is your vantage point over to uh over to bravo spawn on their left side corridor uh leading out of spawn and from alpha side this is your view of bravo side spawn leading out from the left side on their corridor so as you can see these maps are extremely linear and um yeah there's not really much else to uh cover so yeah, we're pretty much done with this review now. Other than that, because I don't want to cut this video so short, um, I do want to give you guys some tips uh, that I have learned while, um, while playing this map. Uh, one thing to note is that from Alpha side over the Bravo side, uh, for some reason, it seems like Bravo side has a lot more of people who would like to camp up near the AC units. Whenever I play on Alpha and I, walk, I rush to the spawn, normally I don't see people, many people there. I only see like one or two throughout the entire game. But if I rush over to Alpha, then uh, I see I see like at least five, six, seven people up there th uh, during the duration of the game. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just, I don't know. 
I really don't know, but that's just a quirk that I've noticed that happens on Bravo side other than Alpha side. Um, let's see. Another thing is that uh, people will plant mines like freaking everywhere because, uh, as you can see, there's lots of cover because, uh, you, as you guys probably know, um, explosives aren't able to pass through, uh, like, let's say wood. Like, bullets can pass through it, but, um, you know. Explosives can't, so mine users will put mines everywhere uh, and then just go back here and camp like the fags they are. Because even if the mines blow up, they're not going to be in any danger to uh, get mind blown by their own mines. So um, that's why you'll probably see mines like fucking laid everywhere, especially in the uh, on the stairs that lead up to the meridian. Um, let's see. Oh, and also, another thing you need to worry about on both sides is that when you rush through the middle corridor here, you always want... First of all, you need to check your corners, like left... I, I recommend this way. Left, because people are sometimes going to be appearing here. Then right, because there are people who are sometimes going to be camping right here, and maybe over in this corner as well. Same goes for the other side. But also, you're going to be watching for people right here, because they'll... they'll these people right here will be waiting for people who uh, rush out here and fail to check this spot right there. So you need to check one, two, and three corners. On top of that, the left side as well. So um, that's why rushers on this map have it especially tough. It, this is like a close quarters combat map, but it's not. A, it's it's geared towards not a camping as well. Like rushers, you need to know to check. Your, you need to learn how to check your corners. So yeah, unfortunately, if that's not what you're good at, then you better start training right away. And, um, yeah, I've noticed that, um, sorry, they're clearing my ears. I've noticed that usually some machine guns are dominant in this map. There really is no range that's out of, uh, out of some machine gun range, to be honest. I mean, maybe, like, if you're rushing down here and then spray down there, then maybe, yeah. But, um, other than that, I really don't think that ass assault rifles have any place in this map you can use them sure to great effect but i feel that you'll be most effective with like a submachine gun or a shotgun or a machine gun and occasionally the sniper here or there because you know this map is either close quarters combat or it's uh it's long range combat there's no there's really no in between so assault rifles even though they are the dominant gun type in combat arms they really don't have a place in this map. Um, it's, may it's predominantly uh, submachine gun uh, or some sub submachine gun in close quarters uh, dominated, and especially on a uh, one-man army. Yeah, it's you'll you'll probably ne especially in a 16-man one-man army on Blood Bazaar, you'll probably never be about like what I don't know, 15 feet away from your next enemy. So uh, assault rifles. I don't recommend you bring uh, them to Blood Bazaar. So, uh, some machine guns or shotguns, you don't need either. Either of them will be work just fine, but you don't need both. Um, like a submachine gun and a sniper rifle. That's that's good. And uh, I mean, if you're gonna if you're planning on camping like all the way back there, then maybe your standard L9 won't cut it. So bring like a more accurate sniper rifle, like L115 or any sniper rifle with like a like a deeper zoom, like that. Yeah, I think I think sniper rifles with deeper zoom, like the hand zoom or the double uh, double zoom, like the TRGSE or the Barrett 50 cal, it will be really good for this map because um, another sniping point obviously is right here. And um, can you shut up? And um, if um, if you're camping over here, then if you only have like the standard zoom, maybe you won't be able to pick out your target as well as you would with say if you had an enhanced scope. So. Yeah, that's those are just my recommendations for this map. Uh, that what you should bring and whatnot. So yeah, other than that, that should be fine. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for joining us on this next in-depth review. Shut up on this uh, in-depth re review episode on the uh, new map called Blood Bazaar. Hope you guys have enjoyed it, and um, yeah. Other than that, I think we're done here. I don't think I have anything else to uh, mention about this map. Um, so, yeah. I'll see you guys later. You can see that today.